Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Great to see you today and thank you for coming to join me for a video all about my natural oil skincare experience. Now you may remember a couple of months ago I placed an order from iHerb.com on four different types of pure oils to use in my beauty routine. I got the jojoba, the macadamia, the rose hip, and also the sweet almond to try out. And especially I was interested in using them during the winter time um, when I would normally be using skincare products that already had a good combination of plant and oil extracts anyway. So why not try them in the single bottles and see if you know they work well, maybe they work better, and they are definitely a lot more economical. So this will be a little talk through of exactly how I used every single one of these oils and which one I liked, which one was my favorite, what I recommend them. And also in addition to this video you are watching, I also have a corresponding blog post um, that will show you exactly what the oils look like when put onto the skin because I don't want to do this on camera for safety reasons, shall we say. And I don't want to get spillage everywhere. And um, if you want my photographs, all of those will be in the blog post, link down in the information bar below this video so you should check that out if you want further details now I thought we would jump right in with the very first oil and this was the very first one I put into my shopping basket when I was ordering from iHerb and this comes from Desert Essence this is their organic jojoba oil Jojoba oil, after a bit of research, I have learned is not actually an oil. Although it feels like one, it has that smooth liquid consistency. This is actually a liquid wax. And this may or may not be the reason why it didn't turn out so well for me. I was initially very excited about this because way back in my younger years, when I was battling acne issues and just breakouts and terrible skin, and um, you know, using a lot of over-the-counter chemical products, I saw different ways to incorporate natural ingredients into my skincare and this was one of the things that always jumped out although I didn't have access to it at the time so I didn't go for it but a lot of people with acne prone skin swear by jojoba oil for makeup removal for cleansing their face for moisturizing as an all-purpose um, singular product to take care of their entire skincare routine and this is an antibacterial product which is very interesting for those of you who do suffer from bacteria related breakouts. This is not a very heavy oil. It is quite mild in scent. Next to no scent, this is very smooth. It's very lightweight in comparison to a lot of other oils you may find on the market. However, I didn't like this because it took forever to sink into my skin. Um, in fact, I have used all of these oils on bare skin just to see how they feel, how they interact with my skin. And um, you know, in the case of using them for moisturizers, how well they sunk into my skin, how long it took, how they felt afterwards, the next day, things like that. Um, for this, I just felt like it sat on top of my skin. It did not penetrate deeply. It wasn't superbly moisturizing. It was lightly moisturizing, but definitely not enough for the winter time. And instead of um, hydrating the deeper layers of my skin, it just sat on the surface. It didn't do much at all. So in terms of, using this as a sole moisturizer I didn't enjoy it quite as much um, but I have been using it on my body mixing it with my body lotions I have used it to tame any flyaways the bottom of my hair you know to smooth my hair and things like that one or two drops is all that you need for either your face or your hair don't go too heavy handed with this but um, it wasn't the one that impressed me at all I wasn't sure quite what this was supposed to do so if you guys have had good experiences with this leave me a comment it didn't break me out that was a you know good point but beyond that nothing much for the jojoba oil in my experience now next thing I want to talk about is a favorite and this is the now solutions sweet almond oil and this I initially ordered with the intention of using it for cleansing my skin for the oil cleansing method and just makeup removal and massage and things like that all together so this is not the organic variation because I figured if this was not going to sit on my skin for long periods of time um, this was a lot cheaper at about three to four bucks and the organic version went up quite significantly so the organic version as a whole is still not terribly expensive but because I was experimenting I thought I'd go with this one first 
for um, facial cleansing and massage and this has been fabulous for that purpose especially during the winter I really prefer a oil cleanser for taking off my makeup and things like that now the store-bought ones do emulsify they have an emulsifying agent in them but also the store-bought ones especially the popular ones such as Shu Mura have mineral oil in them which is not my favorite thing in the world especially for my skin I'm very breakout prone to that in my skincare so I passed on that and I thought maybe something like this would do just as well and this the sweet almond is a very mild type of oil it has a very very almond scent next to nothing um, and it's actually a popular base product to use when blending aromatherapy concoctions um, using this and adding a couple of drops of essential oil to it because this is so mild and very suitable for a variety of different skin types no breakouts no sensitivity in fact I found this to be very soothing and calming for my skin after doing my facial massage with this my skin was just comfortable and breathing and it was happy and nothing bad came about it and in fact I would say this is even mildly moisturizing even if you use it just for um, facial cleansing after you wipe it off with a damp warm cloth you still have a tiny little bit of something left over and it just leaves your skin feeling comfortable and if you do have oily skin or combination to oily skin or if it is the summertime you may or may not even need to use an additional moisturizer to be honest um, although in the winter time I did decide to use one for that purpose but fabulous product I think the sweet almond is a good starter oil for anyone who's interested in getting into this whole natural skincare realm and you're not sure where to begin this might be a good place to start very easily used very mild calming and soothing I found now let's go on to this one which is the restoring rosehip oil from aura cassia and this is organic it comes in a glass bottle with a pump dispenser which believe it or not when it comes to facial oils is so so important this stuff the hope oil with a little hole on top was a mess to use you really just need one or two drops of any of these oils if you're using it for moisturization and uh, this bottle was just not smartly designed it just got everywhere it was hard to control and I got out way too much product every single time this on the other hand from Aura Cassia was perfect had a little pump on it I could use it um, pure you know on my face or I could blend it into my pre-existing night creams day creams or whatever I happen to be using so this one is actually blended with vitamin E oil which again may or may not be the reason why I don't love it I think rosehip oil has a lot of potential and in other um, pre-made skincare products which contain rosehip oil they've always worked great for me because it is actually a skin regenerating a skin healing and repairing ingredient helps to face scars helps to moisturize and calm the skin you know repair the skin help the skin's natural defenses all great stuff right there but using it on its own or at least this one with the rose with the rose tip and vitamin e it was just too heavy too rich too dense for me and in fact this smelled strangely of tofu I couldn't shake the smell it just smelled like tofu like bean curd and um, someone let me know if that's how it's supposed to be but it has smelled like this since the first day I got it I assume that's the rosehip oil and not the vitamin E because other vitamin E products do not have this scent so I would say this is probably more suited for those who have very dry skin or if you have combination skin like me I would use this in localized areas of my face to help with dry patches and um, you know under eye under under and around the eye for moisturizing and it took care of dehydration lines like nobody's business it is very rich and intensive however because I couldn't use this day in and day out every single day I really can not comment on the skin restoring or um, you know blemish fading properties that it claims to have unfortunately but for those who are willing to give this a try I think this is a very highly talked about oil the rose tip for um, benefiting the skin so that one is not a favorite I mean, I wouldn't use it all the time um, but around the eyes is fine for me and I think I don't know I might end up adding it to like body care products and see if that works a little bit better for me but the star of this whole video I've left for last which is the Aura Cassia protecting 
macadamia oil and I believe this comes from the macadamia nut a really yummy nut that's really rich and fatty that's great to eat and that's actually contains a lot of nutrients well the macadamia oil is one that I have been eyeing for a long time and in fact some of my favorite skincare products contain high amount of macadamia nut oil so high expectations for this and it certainly lived up to all that I expected of it again this is from or Acacia, which they have here, a little pump. I think all of their oils do, which is a very smart design, ease to control. I have used this on its own, a couple of drops, blended into my skin at nighttime. It takes about five minutes to sink in. It has a quite a medium intensity nutty scent to it, like a roasted nut. Which, by the way, if you do have nut allergies, macadamia, sweet almond, be careful if you have nut allergies. These are nut oils, by the way. But this one did exactly what it was supposed to do. It moisturized my skin, um, took away any dehydration problems. It is quite rich of a product, by the way. This is not, you know, as um, lightweight as the sweet almond or the jojoba, but it does do a good job of moisturizing under and around the eyes, over any dry patches, or if you just have dry skin altogether. No breakouts from this. I usually use this during the winter every other day, and um, I prefer actually to blend this a tiny drop into my pre-existing skincare cream at nighttime, but I have used it on its own, and it worked fine, just a little longer to sink in that way. I think in terms of all of these oils, um, my favorite will probably have to be macadamia. I think it's great for all skin types, and um, especially if you have dry patches or if you have drier skin, and you're looking for something easier to use, than the rose hip in terms of um, how well it um, sinks into the skin and penetrates. My second favorite is probably the sweet almond. I think this is easy to use for anyone starting out with facial oils or if you want to use this for oil cleansing. It's very mild, easy to remove oil that doesn't feel heavy or suffocating on the skin but it's very calming. So this will be my second pick or maybe between these two they probably go head to head as a good duo for the winter time. Um, third, I will probably say rose hip. I I think it does work and I'm pretty sure it does work. I just can't use it on its own every single day on my skin. It was just too much for me and therefore I had I didn't have the chance to see all its you know miraculous properties as it's supposed to have. The last one for me has to be the jojoba because it was just crazy. I didn't know what it was supposed to do. It didn't feel good on my skin. Perhaps it's the reason that this is a liquid wax and not an oil but I have been reserving this for body care you know adding it to creams and lotions or maybe using a little bit for my hair. I do know a lot of people like this very very much so it could just be me that didn't get on with this one. So all together, um, a great little you know trial experience I say. If you guys are interested from um, in ordering from iHerb, which is where I got my oils, quite good prices I would say, especially if you live in Canada and natural products can be very expensive if you're shopping from places like Whole Foods. Check out iHerb. I'll leave you guys a discount code if you're, if you're ordering for the very first time. They have a special discount code that um, everybody gets when after you made your first order from iHerb and you can share with family and friends and uh, they can save and you can earn a few points, reward points or something like that that transfers into your next order. So I'll leave that for you guys and share the love. If you have um, some good experiences with different types of natural oils, how you like to use them for your face, body or hair, leave me some love down below in the comments and share with me your thoughts, your experiences, your wisdom. I love to hear all about that. So until next time, take care you guys and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.